Good morning. Kevin, please read the problem, and Olivia, please translate. Flippin' physics. If the mass in a mass ring system is tripled, how does the period change? Okay, we know the mass is tripled, so that means we know mass 2 equals 3 times mass 1. And we're solving for period 2 in terms of period 1. So period 2 equals question mark times period 1. Anish, please solve the problem. Okay, uh, we know the period of a mass spring system equals 2 pi times the square root of the mass divided by the spring constant. That means period 1 equals 2 pi times the square root of mass 1 divided by the spring constant. But I don't know what to do next. Well, you know period 2 equals 2 pi times the square root of mass 2 divided by the spring constant. And you can substitute um, 3 times mass 1 in for mass 2. And you can isolate the square root of 3 in the equation to make it 2 pi times the square root of mass 1 divided by the spring constant all multiplied by the square root of 3. Oh, I get it. Period 1 equals 2 pi times the square root of mass 1 divided by the spring constant. So we can substitute period 1 into the equation and we have our answer. Period 2 equals period 1 multiplied by the square root of 3. If we do a threefold increase in the mass, the period increases by the square root of 3. That's pretty cool. Very nice. Now, of course, we are going to demonstrate this. Our first mass spring system has a mass of 50 grams and a period of 1.67 seconds. If we increase the mass to 150 grams, or three times the original mass, the new period should be 1.67 seconds times the square root of 3, which equals 2.8925, or roughly 2.89 seconds. The period we observe when we increase the mass to 150 grams is 2.83 seconds, which is almost, but not quite, 2.89 seconds. Using the relative error equation, we can show that our observed value is roughly 2.16% less than our predicted or accepted value for the new period with triple the mass. That is close enough that I think we can safely say, the physics works, the physics works, uh-huh, uh-huh, the physics works, the physics works, uh-huh, uh-huh, the physics works, the physics works, uh-huh, uh-huh, the physics works. <laughs> All right, Anish, Kevin, Olivia. My regular students will be back next time, so I would like to just say thank you to the three of you for being my substitute students. Thank you. This was Thanks, fun. Thanks, thank you very much for learning with me today. I enjoyed learning with you. We can come back. Yeah, I think I actually learned something. Bye, guys.